Back everyone 817 on our Friday and Carlsbad is all a bloom. It's going to be a beautiful weekend to get outside and head to the flowers. You just got to make sure you have a reservation. Joining us this morning, Fred Clark, and we're excited to talk about the flower fields that he has uh, just around him right now. Good morning, Fred. Oh, good morning, everybody. Well, thanks for being with us. We first want to know what people should know. You, I know there are some changes. I was just looking at your guys' website. Some changes to the Carlsbad flower fields for this year. Uh, go through some of those changes with us. Yeah, well, the biggest change is that we need to do online ticket reservations before you come to the flower fields. In order to adhere to the safe reopening standards, we've implemented a time slot style of uh, of a ticket purchase. So you go online, you purchase a ticket for the time slot that you'd like to come, and then uh, uh, you show up and you, we have a hands-free uh, system for coming in and it's it's just that easy, but we will not, not be selling tickets at the front entrance. You gotta buy your ticket in advance. Okay, important to know, go to that website and get those tickets in advance. For people who have never visited the flower fields, just tell us about what you guys have to offer. Well, you know, it's a very unique uh, experience. In fact, I think we're probably one of a kind kind of floral experience. And we're right here in, you know, downtown Carlsbad with an ocean view. There's 55 acres of flowers here. We've got just about 21 acres in bloom right now. It's really spectacular. The weather is just fantastic. I'm standing outside in the middle of the fields, as you can see, and you can see the color off onto the horizon. It's just magnificent. And we've been taking a look at some of the aerial footage. That looks great. So thank you for showing us what you have right now uh, where you're standing. It's incredible to see th those kind of rainbow colors like you describe on the website. Uh, I want you to tell us, are you guys still offering the blueberry picking or is that going to be put on pause? Yeah, you know, we've had such an overwhelming response that the blueberries that were available have been picked, believe it or not. But we've got lots of immature berries. We need to take a little hiatus from picking for about five or six days to allow the fruit to catch up in ripeness. Okay, good to know. So a little bit of time to wait on the blueberry picking, but still plenty of time to enjoy those flowers. And Fred, I want you to tell us, I mean, this this last year, obviously unprecedented for uh, many, many people in the country and including you, you were forced to close early last year. Uh, tell us what that impact was like on your business and what the hope is going forward. Yeah, you know, having to close early is heartbreaking for us. We spend months and months getting ready. And, you know, it, it, the flower fields, it's such a beautiful place. And it has such an overwhelming effect on your emotions and your feelings uh, to see so much color. That not being able to, to share that with everybody was, was pretty hard on us. In fact, it was so hard, we ended up mowing down about 20 acres of flowers in full bloom because we had nowhere to sell them and, and nowhere to show them to. And you, so that was uh, pretty, you should see the video of that. It's heartbreaking to see color just disappear into mulch uh, with the tractor driving over it. But you know, we're back now and with our safe reopening plan and the, the conditions here in California, this is an outdoor recreational activity. There's lots of room and space and you'll be uh, really have a great time. So come on out. Yeah, it looks beautiful out there. Remind us of your location. Give us your address and then where people can go to purchase those tickets. Yeah, you can buy the tickets at uh, www.theflowerfields.com. It's real easy to do. We're right in Carlsbad. The address is 5704 Paseo del Norte. We're right at the corner of uh, uh, Palomar Airport Road in Paseo del Norte. And uh, you can see us from the freeway, so you know we are getting close when you see us. And last question for people who might be a little concerned about COVID-19. Um, I know you guys have some safety checks in place. People should be wearing masks, correct? That's absolutely correct. We're completely compliant with the regulations. Uh, you need to wear a mask while you're here. We're actually going to ask you if you agree to wear a mask uh, when you arrive and uh, abide by the safety standards that we will share with you when you get here. And, uh, and uh, everybody's been doing a great job, I must say. Uh, I haven't had really any issues to speak of, and so that's great to see. And uh, it's just amazing, you know, the color, you can't believe it when you come out and see the color. It's just get out and 
come out here and get outdoors and breathe some fresh air and look at these beautiful flowers. And Fred, go ahead and flip that camera toward you. We want to show your face off so that people know if they're coming uh, around uh, to the flower fields, who they can look out for and say hello to. Uh, All right, there well, we here go. we are. It's a nice sunny day out here today. Fred the, is uh, here. Oh, and, uh, great. You hopefully look everybody awesome. can come out. This weekend's going to be beautiful. Uh, and the flowers just get better and better over the next three, four weeks. They're really going to be nice. And oh, about two weeks, it's going to be just unbelievable. All right. Very exciting. Fred Clark, thank you for joining us this morning. We know you're very busy and we're also really excited to hear that you guys are back open. We know last year was tough, so we're hoping you get a lot of tickets bought up this year. And so people can go out and enjoy those flower fields in Carlsbad. Thank you for joining us this morning. All righty. Bye. See everybody out here. See you later. <laughs>